Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so most of my featured sellers come from my Facebook group. And this person is now a member of my Facebook group, but they found me on YouTube, which is kind of cool. So I thought I would share that with you guys. But he has a YouTube channel also, and I wanna just share that with you guys real quick, because it might be something you're interested in. It is called, let me shrink this down, Lot of Josh right here. So um, you can just type it in the search bar. I'm also going to post it down below um, in the description so you can find it easy that way also. But if you subscribe, that'd be awesome. He's at 945 subscribers. I know he's super excited to get to a thousand. So if you can help him out, that would be awesome. Um, he It is a reselling. Um, he talks about selling on eBay and some of the things he um, he sells and you know, things like that. So let me go into his videos and you can kind of kind of look at it. So yeah, he's got lots of good videos. So be sure to check it out. And I know he's working to grow his channel and he's trying to put out more content um, as, as each week. I think he's was only posting like one or two a week and I think he's shooting to get three maybe. But anyway, um, yeah, lot of Josh. So Seems like a really good guy. I don't know him well, but we have chatted through Messenger. And, you know, I will say that I am meeting tons of people from doing this. Lots of great people. And I love it. It's awesome. It's just a it's a neat uh, way to learn and to meet new people. So there's more good people out there than bad. I will tell you that. So if you get a bad egg, just move on because there's good around the corner. OK, so I am going to tell you what he sold where he got it and what he paid for it and what it sold for. I think I messed up my wording there, but oh, well, we are going to go with it. And he sells on, I know he sells on eBay and Poshmark, but these are eBay solds. So I've got my notes here. So this he bought, um, it was a bulk purchase, a bunch of Star Wars collectibles, and he got it on Facebook Marketplace and he bought the entire lot for $160. So I will reference this a few times throughout the video. I know a bunch of stuff has sold already. Um, so I don't have everything that he got. Um, like I can't say, oh, he bought this for 160 and here's everything he sold, but I can tell you some of the things he sold. Um, so this first item was this um, Star Wars Jedi Master. And he sold it for $34.99 plus shipping. So that was a part of that bundle that he bought on Facebook. He got these uh, Lucky Brand jeans at Marshall's. And he paid $18 for them, which is more than I'm willing to pay for a pair of jeans. But he ended up selling them for $44.99. So he made a decent profit. I just don't like, I, I like buying things for like, Cheap. I am cheap. That's all I got to say. All right. The next one here, this was just um, something that he uh, used for personal use during his military training. And he decided to sell it because he's getting out of the military soon. So I'm just kind of reading the notes to you. So basically anything that's sitting around your house that you're not using, I highly recommend you sell it. I mean, if you're not using it and you can make money, why not? Sold it for $97.99. So this could be something that you could uh, pick up at an estate sale or something like that. So be on the lookout for those. Okay, this is a Sony cassette. Um, excellent condition. I'm just going to show you some of the pictures here. He picked this up at the Goodwill for $7.99 and he sold it for $95. Some of these old voice cassette they go for big money. So definitely search solds on those if you find them. You can usually like put in this number under the um, eBay solds and it's going to pull up anything that has this number and give you an idea of what they're selling for. All right. These New Balance he picked up at Marshall's for 20 bucks and he sold them for $84.99. All right. This is a... Apple iPod. Again, this was a personal item that he had from years ago and he didn't use it anymore. So he sold it for $114.
All right, he got these eyeglasses, the Ralph Lauren. He paid $4.99 at a thrift store. Talk about a nice find. It looks like they're brand spanking new. Um, sold them for $114. Awesome. He did offer free shipping on that one. All right, so this is four feet tall. So this is a big guy. I would not want to ship it. Um, I'm going to post a link to his video down below where he actually ships this item. So it, he shows you how he packages it. I don't know. I, to me personally, I don't want to ship something this big. It's, it's too um, frustrating for me. But uh, this was a part of that um, Facebook purchase that he spent $160 on and he sold it for $79.99. So he's at 80, and then the other was 35, so he's at $115 so far. And here's the other one, it sold, this one sold for 158. So he's made his money back, and then everything else that he purchased has been pure profit. Um, this one sold for, oh, $58.49, so and it was a part of the 160 lot. So again, a big item, hard to ship. Uh, again, I'll post the video for this one. I think he has a video on each of them. But if you wanna see how to ship a big item, you can check that video out. Okay, so this is a Nintendo Game Boy and he purchased this, uh, it was a bulk purchase on OfferUp. He bought that with eight or nine additional games and he listed the games individually. He paid $25 for all of it. This sold for $67.49. This was another one of the games that was a part of that. And this sold for $38.49. And again, I don't have the other items that were in the lot, but he's already made his money back plus money. So definitely a bolo. He got these at the Goodwill. He paid $4.99 and they sold for $58.49. And he actually has a video that I watched where he's actually buying these at the thrift store. So it's kind of funny, like I watched the video and now I'm seeing the sold, it's kind of cool. All right, so these are books and it's like a, a set of one through 10. And he actually did a video on this and it was a good video. He got these on, let's see, it was $20 but he got these books and then he got some other stuff with it. It was like a bulk purchase. I think this was the one he did a video on. Maybe this is a different set of books. I'm not 100% sure because I know he got a doll with one set of the books from the video. But either way, he paid $20 for the entire lot and he sold these alone for $59.99. All right, he bought these at Marshall's for $20 and sold them for $49.49. So not a huge profit margin, but definitely making money. And then these textbooks were um, a personal item. They were his and he was no longer using them. So he sold them for $42.99. Another Sony Walkman and this, he got at the Goodwill for $4.99 and he sold it for $39.99. Okay, so this is a Star Wars, it's a helmet. And this also was a part of that um, big lot of $160 of stuff purchase, bulk purchase he got. And he sold this for $74.99. So he has definitely made his money back plus a good amount. Okay, so this Fuji, or, okay, I shouldn't say, he bought a bunch of film and it was a bulk purchase through Craigslist. The guy he bought it from bought a storage unit of a retired Vogue photographer. He wanted to get rid of all the expired film that was in the, the unit. So he posted a huge lot of expired film on Craigslist. Expired ink, expired film, still sells well on eBay, it just does. Um, this is one box of 10 prints. So he paid, um, $2 for each um, pack. So he's got $20 in this and he sold it for $74.99. All right, this Ugg robe he got at Marshall's, he paid $18 for it and he sold it for 70. 
he sold it for 70 and it retails for 88. So that is really good. He did really well on that. Uh, right. This Game Boy, uh, this, he got it a yard sale for $5 and he sold it for $34.99. Okay. So here's more of the film. So this is a lot of 24. He paid $2 each. So he had $48 in it and he sold it for 224. So to me, like $48 is an investment, like if you're not sure about it, but he obviously was sure about it and he made a great, I mean, that's a great return, 48 into 224, that's amazing. So he did really well on that and it expired in 2007, crazy. All right, so here's 20 rolls. So he had 40 bucks in this and He sold it for $164.99. Um, I'm not sure if he took a best offer on those or not, but he sold two and he still has 10 available. So he spent some money on, on that film. If you think of how many, he shelled out a good amount of money. I don't know what the total was. He did. All right, so here's a lot of four and he's selling these for $34.99 and he still has more than 10 left and he has sold seven. So definitely making a good profit if he, so eight, eight bucks, two, four, six, eight, because there's four times two is eight, and then he's selling it for $34.99. Okay, so here's 56 Lego minifigures. He got these on offer up. So what he did is he bought 20 pounds of Legos, about 100 of them were minifigures, and he paid $100 for all of it. This is just 56 of the Legos in that lot and he sold this for $52. Okay, so this baseball bat, he picked up at a yard sale for five bucks and he sold it for $79.99. Another thing that I would not enjoy trying to ship. But if I could turn five into 80, I'd probably figure out how to ship it. Okay, so this is a Tommy Bahama t-shirt. Um, he got this at TJ Maxx, he paid 10, sold it for $34.99. Again, not a huge, um, not huge profit margins, but still definitely making money. And he got good money for the shirt. I mean, it retails for forty nine fifty, and he sold it for thirty four ninety nine. So that's really good, plus shipping. So it's almost he almost got out of it what retail is. So that's really good. All right, so this uh, wrestling guy, he bought. On offer up, he bought 100 plus figures for $80. This is just one loose figure that sold for $34.99. He had $80 and over 100 figures. So definitely, definitely making good money on that. So he he seems to get a lot of stuff on offer up and uh, Facebook and stuff like that where he's buying in bulk a bunch of items from the same seller. So definitely, definitely a good idea. So if you want to, again, I'm gonna show you again, a lot of Josh, that's his um, YouTube channel. And I'm gonna take you into his store and we're gonna click see other items. I will post a link to his eBay store down below in the description. I'll see if I can find his Poshmark also. Um, and I'll put that down below. And Let's go to highest first. And you can see he's got a flute. He's got more film. He's got some high dollar bats. So he's kind of shopping anywhere and everywhere. You know, he's hitting yard sales. He's hitting thrift stores. He's looking online like at um, Facebook and OfferUp and Craigslist and, you know, all of those online things. He, um, is going out to Marshalls and TJ Maxx and places like that and buying stuff, you know, for clearance retail prices. So definitely, definitely check it out. Oh, that's cool. We got two of the same shirt with different sizes. So yeah, he's got, um, I wonder if those were a part of that, uh, Film, where he bought the film, the film lot. Could have been, could have been. Anyway, some cool stuff. If you want to see his solds, 
Actually, did you guys see these shoes? They're kind of cool. Would these not be fun? They're North Face for the 4th of July. Does anybody need any 4th of July flag slippers? Best offer. Pretty cool. Size 6 and size 9. Okay, sorry. I got sidetracked. I saw those. Uh, okay, so if you go into a solds, you can, I've got it highest first, and you can kind of see some of the other items that he has sold. If you wanna go in and actually click on the link to some of the solds I talked about, you can look at photos, you can look at descriptions. That's a great way to learn. Um, I'm just scrolling through here a little more. So yeah, just because it's a bolo now doesn't mean it's gonna be a bolo in the future. So definitely again, always search solds and check comps on eBay before you buy. Um, I always say if you can get it for a buck or two, take it and run, and you're at least going to make your money back. So thanks for watching. Again, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Again, go over and check out a lot of Josh. I'm sure he would appreciate that, and I've watched a lot of his videos. Good stuff. And thanks for watching, and have a great day.